All right. Well, we also want to ask you about this. National Security Advisor Susan Rice is talking about Benghazi again. This time she seems to brush off a question about whether the Select Committee will find any new evidence. Since you brought up Benghazi, um... <laughs> You're too smart for that. <laughs> That's, come on. What, it, what more is there that the administration has done or said that we're not aware of right now? Dang if I know. So is the White House taking the Benghazi investigation seriously? It sure doesn't sound like it. And of course, those women were laughing in the room, too. Remember what former National Security Council spokesperson Tommy Veter told Brett Baer about the talking points controversy? Did you also change attacks to demonstrations in the talking points? Uh, maybe. I don't really remember. You don't remember? Dude, this was like two years ago. We're still talking about the Dude, most mundane it is the thing process. That everybody is talking about. We're talking about the process of editing talking points. That's what bureaucrats do all day long. Here Byron, you've got, you've got him saying, Dude. I mean, this is the guy who was sitting in a situation that night. Dude, it was two years ago. You've got Susan Rice and Bass saying, Dang if I know. You've got women in the room laughing. And meanwhile, we have four dead at Benghazi. The, the, the Susan Rice thing was just jaw dropping. It was incredibly dismissive. And, and you have to remember, this investigation is about a lot more than talking points, even though the talking points are a part of it. There are serious questions about the terrible state, the terrible lack of preparation uh, uh, from the State Department and the Pentagon for any sort of attack generally in Libya and certainly on the anniversary of the September 11th attacks. The, the members of the committee do not believe they know everything about this. They believe that the State Department report kind of built a firewall around uh, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and they want to know more and this kind of, the, 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 this kind of dismissive answer from Susan you, Rice is not going to sit well with them. You know Rick it just seems so insensitive like, dude, uh, you know, it's been two years ago, and dang if I know. I mean, four people are dead. I mean, have a little more seriousness of purpose. At least I would think so. I mean, I, I think, you know, I, I'm scandalized by it. It, it, uh, it is a lot to do with tone here. Tommy Veter may be right. He may not remember. Susan Rice may not actually know. But it is a, it is a way of, of handling this. And I think what you're seeing from the White House and, and from Democrats on this generally, they don't want to legitimize the new investigation. They want to point to the fact, and it is a fact, that there have been tens of thousands of records out there. There have been... Uh, 25,000 documents, she said. But the problem that she has to compete with is they they may have released, we used to do it in law all the yeah. time, you do these documents dumps, you dump everything in the world on the other side, you're trying to drown them in it. But the one email they didn't give was the Ben Rhodes, that was one That's month right. ago. So it's reasonable to be suspicious there are a lot more. And I think the lawyers have not served the, the, the White House aides well in this by, by trickling this stuff out. Uh, the, I think that the two clips you just played are going to be a comp compiled into a nice, tidy 2016 presidential ad for the Republicans, the dude part, and Susan Rice laughing with the laughter. That guy was in the Situation Room that uh, night. Uh, <laughs> that it, just it, slays me. It's very tough, but interesting to note, CIA Director John Brennan today was asked in an interview about whether it was, he thought it was a terrorist attack, and he still, he was very careful in his wording and, and said it was an assault, we didn't know. So even today, the White House is very careful on how they characterize at, those at events. Least, they at least while he's doing that, he's doing it seriously and not making a right. dang and a dude. But anyway, panel, stay with us.